My sophomore year in high school, I was in Mr. Ochoa's class and I was falling asleep. <laughs> and as I was falling asleep, one of my friends, my um, person who was sitting next to me, tells me that I have a bee in my hair. So I panic and I jump up and I start whacking my hair and I had to leave the classroom while everyone was laughing at me. And Mr. Ochoa goes outside with me and starts whacking my hair with paper trying to get the beat off me. I went back in class and after that I still had it in my hair so I had to leave one more time and go through all of that again. When it was raining I slipped down an entire fleet of stairs. I'm wearing these sandals too which is probably why I slipped down these. I was limping around for a month in a brace. They're like can you put that away? I was like I have nowhere to put it. So sophomore year I was in a wheelchair because I had just had a leg surgery and I had a uh, math class on the second floor and they were just like okay you can use the elevator. The elevator went up and then just stopped so I was like okay am I on the second floor now and the doors weren't opening so I was just kind of like I was trying everything I could I was pressing like the door open button I was putting a key in I was taking a key out and I was just kind of sitting there like eh, nothing's happening so um there's a call button on the inside so I pressed the call button and I figured it was going to the office here and, and my mom works with the school district, so I thought, you know, if I name drop my mom, you know, they're gonna want to get me out. Like, it's like, oh my god, her daughter's in there. She's, she, we gotta get her out. So, I'm like talking to this guy, and I was just like, yes, also could you let my mother, Karen Valentine, know that I'm trapped in the elevator? I get up on like one leg, and I like stick my hands to the side of the door, because there aren't any handles in there, and I like gecko hand, like, trying to like pry this door open and it finally gives way and I'm just standing there on one leg and everyone's cheering and I'm just like yes I did it. It was during basketball practice and someone wasn't paying attention and they went up to try to block somebody and the ball was in the air so you know my first reaction was to like jump up and go grab it but unfortunately enough I took a palm to the nose and so I was like sitting there because my head started hurting I was like Ow. And then it just started, you know, bleeding a lot. So I went to the restroom and I was like looking because you can see the reflection. They don't have any mirrors on there, but on like the, the walls, you can kind of see a reflection. I looked and it was just kind of crooked and I was sitting there and I was like, I'm going to have to deal with this for the rest of my life. If anything, it probably made me look a little bit prettier, but besides the fact, I was sitting in there and it just... It was kind of like a soft serve machine, you know, and you pull it down and just... A week later I had to get it, you know, put back in place and I had to walk around school for a week looking like I just got done, like, done with plastic surgery, like, you know, like one of those models.